it. So um, you just mentioned that you managed Nas. Mm -hmm. Were you not a like? Were you Nas? Were you managing him during the time that Ether came out? No. Oh. Okay. And actually, I I think Ether's overrated. So. Ooh. <laughs> my dog, my dog, uh, my dog. You gotta. We just had this argument. I just said this on the last show. When you say overrated, like in what sense? The overrated? beat was crazy. The verses were okay. Okay. I had to hold my breath on that one because somebody from New York made the beat. And, you know, I was gonna my man, uh, yeah, Ron Brown. Ron. He, 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 was was he was on the show. He was on the show yesterday. He was on the show last week. Yeah. Ron to his face. <laughs> yeah. The beat, you saved that nigga. Without the beat, he would have got completely destroyed. Okay, the so. The beat kept him hot. Um, if you were going to give Nas any advice during that time, if you were to be managing at that time, what would the advice have been? I'm um during Ether, yeah. I probably would let him rock at the time. That was where hip hop was at. Yeah. I managed Nas when so I was managing Nas when um he wanted to put out the nigga album. Mm -hmm. And that's why we stopped managing each other. Like so I like <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing the nigga album. And him and Khalees is on front red carpet with the nigga and on their shirt. And they yeah. was telling and he was they was basically kind of like, yo, you bugging, like, we gonna do this and blah blah. And I was like, no. Like, I can't like do that. That ain't and actually a funny story, I got called. <laughs> right after I start working with, with him, I get a call from Clarence Avon. Clarence Avon is the godfather to we so are, many of us. Yeah, better know him. If you don't know him, you should find out who he is. There's a special on Netflix on him. Um, so Clarence calls me. He's like, yo, hold on. I got to get somebody on the phone. I go, all right. What the fuck? <laughs> he jumps on the phone. It's him and Bill Cosby. Oh, wow. For the next 45 minutes, Bill Cosby and Clarence Avon cursed me the fuck out. Telling me that you niggas are stupid. How the fuck do you <laughs> put out a record called nigga? Niggas can't be going in the motherfucking store asking for a nigga album. What the fuck is y'all niggas doing? Like 45 minutes, Bill Cosby and Clarence cursing like sellers. Finally, I'm like, yo, fellas, I agree with you. <laughs> like, I, I quit because I'm not dealing with it. All right, nigga, then we'll talk to y'all later. I'm not going. <laughs> well, since like, we agree on that. Yeah, so this, oh, okay. We thought you was doing this stupid shit. Nah, you ain't click and hung up on me. So, yeah, I think you, the, my advice to Nas with that project was that. I got why he wanted to do it. And again, mm -hmm. I've supported Dre in underwear and fucking rainbow things. I've supported him. Like, I'm always going to support I put CeeLo on stage in a fucking bird outfit. Like, I, freedom of expression, I don't give a damn about. You put a record out like, nigger, you got to stand in that. You can't drop that record and then go back to the crib and just be like, oh, I'm gonna see what <laughs> no, you got to go on every TV show. You need to explain your message and do that. And at the time, he wasn't going to do it. And he did exactly what I thought. Him and Khalees get up on the red carpet with the nigga shirts. And that's the moment. Make, make, make it a clown mm -hmm. event. It didn't, it didn't work. So I think in that instance, um, that would have been my advice for him. You kind of touched on it, but how involved are you in marketing for the artists that you manage? I am the marketing for the artist that I manage. Oh, wow. I've never heard a manager say that. Every manager has a superpower. Some 